Topi Scraper, my great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, led my people, the first people. But now the old ones are dead or dying. The old ways are running away, like Kalahari sand. I am fifty-fifty. Half of me wants to lie down, wants to die. The other half wants to fight. I was born in this land, but the old government took away our hearts, took us off our land, made it into a wildlife park. Now I live on this edge, this place of dust and flies. Do you know how much killing, knifing, drinking is happening here? It's because of the pain of being taken from our heartland. We are scared to tell the children about all this pain. They are already so rough, their hearts are so rough. Since my mother died, Oma Nona has taken her place for me. She remembers how it was. She called it their garden. Hier is onze groente. Dat is onze groente gekend. Dat is onze groente. Die natuur. Die veld. Ons eet. Uit die veld eet. En onze schappen. Uit die veld eet. Dat is die springbokken, die steenbokken, die hassen. Dat is onze. Dat is onze slagjes. Dat is een groente ding. Dat is die tamas en gabas. En die alle kosten we daar goed. This will come also out here. There are some of us who are trying to pass the knowledge to the young ones. Even if we have to scavenge a springbok from the fence, we need the wild meat to give us strength. The old ones are close to death. <coughs> These children are too young, but there is no time. We have to give them the essence, what it really means to be a bushman. Wim Kors was one of our best trackers, but he lost his foot in a car accident. Kors is showing them the tracks of a night mouse. He sees where a stick caught around its neck and where it shook it off. He shows them how to tell the difference between the drag mark of the stick and the drag mark of the mouse's tail. Wim Abiyol has a thousand books in his head, but he has MDR-TB, the one that drugs can't help. Half his life he lived only from the wild, sometimes months without water. For him the springbok water tastes good, it's filled with memory. There are no hunters left to bring us real meat, the chimspok, the kudu, the eland, the ones that make our spirit strong. Now they only catch the spring hair, but old Abi is happy. He knows how to use the sinew of the hare's tail to strengthen the bow, to fix the feather, to make the arrow fly straight. He says to us, I still like to make my arrows out of bone. The sky god is the hunter, and I am God's bow and arrow. I feel closest to the sky god when I feel him shooting me. For us, there is a difference between the springbok's head and the body. Inside the head are all the smells, the senses. The head holds all the behavior. When the animal needs to run, when to stay, how it sees. All these things go inside me when I eat it. 
The meat is filling my spirit because the springbok eats medicinal plants when it feeds. sees the old man and all he knows. My heart is breaking. The other half sees his pain. Now he is forced to survive on the rubbish dump, like a piece of rubbish thrown away by the new world. This is not the way of my grandfathers. Their stories are full of peace. I have had a dream. In the dream, I was told to leave the land of my ancestors. To go to other bushmen far away, powerful healers, and come back to heal the elders and teach the children. Now is the time for that journey. to find something for these children to hold. It's the only chance we have to feel like people again. People of the Eland. <laughs> 